Good morning and I welcome you in Jesus mighty name. Today is February the 14th and our man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome, would like to share a message entitled, A Joint Sitting in the Heavenlies. Our opening scripture is from the book of Ephesians chapter 2 verse 6 and I read, And hath raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. The expression sit together is from the Greek sugathizo and it means joint sitting. It is a legal term and the scripture cannot be broken. That means Jesus' authority has been extended to us. We are using the same authority with him. Thus, everything Jesus utters is in our name and everything we utter is in his name. Hallelujah. He doesn't make a decision without us and we do not make a decision without him. This is hugely profound. Our joint sitting isn't earthly. It is heavenly. It has been decided from heaven. We are His legal representatives in the earth. What we say in the earth is endorsed in the heavens. Understanding this is very important. It means you alone can take a stand on God's word and effect a change on the basis of this understanding and it will be endorsed from heaven. Some people think that until all the Christians in the world come together to stand against Satan and his antics and deception, then nothing can change. But think about it. Our theme verse, Ephesians chapter 2 verse 6, was not written to the Corinthians, neither was it sent to the Thessalonians. They probably never had access to the information. So, every Christian wasn't at the same level of faith or knowledge at every point in time then. Neither are they now. However, what God expects is that those of us who have come to maturity, who have an understanding of His word and of the times, will take our stand and our place in Christ to keep Satan under our feet where he belongs. That is what's important. With this kind of knowledge, you maintain control of things in your life, your environment and the world. You nullify Satan's plans and works and pull them down by the power of the living Christ. Do not be troubled by what is going on in the world today. Use your authority in Christ. You reign in Him and through Him over Satan, darkness, the world and circumstances. Therefore, subdue your world. Let nothing but Christ reign in your physical body, in your job or business, in your family and your world. Remember, you are seated with Him in glory with the same authority. Praise God forevermore. Hallelujah. Now, my, my brothers and sisters, wherever you are, can you raise your holy hands and take this confession right after me? The Lord Jesus is seated at the right hand of the Father, far above all principality and power, might and dominion, and every name that is named. And I have joined sitting with him. I am seated with him in glory. I reign in him and through him over Satan, darkness, the world, and circumstances. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Now, for today's message, you've got to study these following scriptures. From the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 19, preferably from the Amplified Classic Version. From the book of 1 John, chapter 4, verse 17. And the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 21. Hallelujah! Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so. And share this beautiful gospel to your world. Tune in again tomorrow. You are blessed. We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah! 
Congratulations! You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tni.msia at gmail.com That's tni.msia at gmail.com We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.